So although the Washington Huskies won the conference last year, they had the head-to-head -head meeting with USC in Seattle, Joe, last year, in which the Trojans, I think, showed most of us that they were probably the best team by the end of the season, the best team in the Pac-12. And so why don't we start with the uh, USC Trojans and, and, and what they have coming back. Of course, we saw Sam Darnold light it up. Some of his weapons are gone, but Deontay Burnett, who had 13 catches for three touchdowns, he's back as well after a huge Rose Bowl. Yeah, I mean, they are the team to beat in that division right now. I mean, Sam Darnold, the clear front runner for the Heisman Trophy. You're talking about a team in USC last year, started out one and three and won nine straight games, culminated by their Rose Bowl victory over Penn State. I mean, even on the defensive side of the ball, I was very impressed what they were able to do last year, Mark. They held six of 13 opponents under 100 yards, and they were 6-0 and in those games and won those matchups by 20.5 points per game. So it wasn't just Sam Darnold. It was the defense led by Cameron Smith that really shut down opposing offenses, especially in run support. And that's going to be the key to this Trojan team entering the 2017 season. They had some offensive line issues early in the season. They got those ironed out. Uh, they lost a few guys. And, and that seems to be the issue with this team coming up as well is how – Quickly, will they develop the offensive line that's going to keep Darnold upright? And the one thing I was impressed with concerning Sam Darnold beyond the, the rocket arm and the decision-making and the clutch performance in the fourth quarter against Penn State is he eluded the rush. The Penn State rush was pretty effective in that game. And Darnold, no, he's not going to burn you like a Michael Vick in his prime. He has not, not that kind of dynamic play uh, capabilities, but he would buy himself time or he would roll out and he's – He's a bit underrated in that in that classification of being able to avoid the rush and make plays downfield and extend plays. Uh, yeah, USC, uh, Ronald Jones, Joe, is a guy that I just love watching. From the time he stepped on the field as a freshman, I just thought this was the guy that needs to get the ball. And I know that the consistency hasn't been there, and he's put it on the ground a little bit. But uh, I, I love Ronald Jones, and I think he could be primed for a big breakout. Yeah, now that Davis is gone, he is the go-to guy, especially for a rushing attack that they need balance to take the pressure off of Sam Darnold. I think it's twofold. Sam Darnold will benefit the running game, and the running game will benefit the offensive line and Sam Darnold, especially in critical third-down situations. So the, I, I think from an offensive perspective, you mentioned Burnett. They have Mitchell coming back. Uh, they lose Juju Smith-Schuster, who, who that's going to be the key uh, to the offense. Can they make up for that production? But again, I think when you look at USC overall, it, it comes down to the defense, Mark. As long as the defense continues to develop and get stronger as the season goes on, I think this is the clear-cut team. Now, I picked them to win the division, but I still think when you look at their schedule, uh, there can be some roadblocks where USC does go 10-2 and two overall and could be on the outside looking in again for the playoff. I mean, keep in mind, over the last few years now, this has been one of the teams that have been in the preseason top 10 and haven't started very fast. And really, when expectations are off them, that's when they seem to perform. This is going to be a team with Darnold that the bullseye will be on their back, not only to win the Pac-12, but to get to the college football playoff. How can they perform from the week number one throughout the Pac-12 season remains to be seen. 